Okay, so yesterday we started probably the most important part of trigonometry for the course, and that is finding missing parts of a right triangle. I give you a right triangle, and I give you that this angle over here is 27 degrees. Label my triangle ABC. And I am going to tell you that side C is 20 millimeters. Your notes, I want you to find sides little a, little b, and angle big B. A couple minutes and we'll go over those in just a minute. What's angle D? <clears throat> That's just from adding up the angles to get 180 degrees for the whole triangle. Sides A and B are a little more difficult. Remember, we're trying to go back to use information that we're given rather than information we're calculating, if we can possibly do it. We're going to use the 27 degrees. And side C is the side that we are given, that is the hypotenuse. Side A is which side? Opposite. The opposite side. So it is sine of an angle, opposite over hypotenuse. And yes, I do always write the definition down just because it helps me make sure everything gets done. So I put the 27 degrees in for the angle. The opposite side is side A, and the hypotenuse is the 20 millimeters. Then I will make it a proportion by putting the sine of 27 over 1, and we're cross multiplying and dividing. So it's sine of 
No better than this truck did a reset. So sine of 27, make sure you close the parentheses, times 20, and again, you don't have to put in the divided by one. We know that's not going to happen. So 9.079, 9.08 is what that comes to. Now at this point, we could do a squared plus b squared equals c squared. We have two sides of a right triangle. But I'm going to save that to double check if I want. I'm going to use trig to find B, and of course B is the adjacent side. So I'm still using that given side that's the hypotenuse. What trig function is that? Cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent to hypotenuse. And I'll fill in the information we're given. We're given that the angle is 25 degrees still. B is the adjacent side, and the hypotenuse is 20 millimeters. So once again, I make it a proportion by putting the cosine of 27 over 1, and we cross multiply and divide. Now it's going to be the cosine of 27. Again, make sure you close the parentheses. Times 20, and we don't have to divide by 1. 17.82 is what we have. That's 17.82 millimeters. Now that a squared plus b squared equals c squared is a tool we can use to double check this if we want to. Does 9.08 squared plus 17.82 squared equal 20 squared? Now I'm going to switch this around a little bit and instead of using the squared here, I'm going to square root that side just to make it quicker. Square root of 9.08 squared plus 17.82 squared. Now do we expect this to come up to exactly 20? No, because those 9.08 and 17.82 are both rounded. So we expect there's going to be some rounding error in it. But 19.99997 is probably close enough. It becomes a slightly different, slightly more difficult problem. Then that is 54 degrees there for angle. Then the side we're given is one of the legs. So I'm going to give you that side B here is 18. Once again, I'm going to ask you to find. We'll put it first since it's the easy part to find, angle A. And then side little a, side little c.
if you are you in here. So angle A, of course, again, is the easy part. How big is that? 36 degrees. Now, I should have mentioned my drawings are definitely not done the scale. Can't look at the size of the angle and make a judgment. So then for side A, I'm using my 54 degrees that I'm given. Side A is which length? I am given side B, which is opposite. opposite. What trig function is that? Tangent. So I'm going to write that down. Tangent of theta, opposite over adjacent. I'm going to put the tangent over, well, I'm going to fill in the information first, I suppose. Angle is 54 degrees, 18 millimeters over A. Now I'll make it a proportion by putting the tangent over one. And now this is why I do that over one, because here you have to have that one in there in order to cross multiply. So one times 18 is just 18. Divided by the tangent of 13.08. So Side C, well, I'm still going to use B, which is my given side. Side C is which side of that? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. What trig function is that? Sine. Sine of an angle equals the opposite side over the hypotenuse. So we'll fill it in. This is 54 degrees again. The opposite side is the 18 millimeters, and my side C is my hypotenuse. Again, I put it over 1 and I cross multiply and divide. So it's 1 times 18 divided by the sine. 2.25. Now, once again, I could do the a squared plus b squared equals c squared to double check this. I'm not going to do it here because I'm pretty sure you guys can handle doing that on your own. But it is a good idea to go back and double check. One of the last skills we can use is if we're not given any angles other than the right angle. But I tell you that this is 12 millimeters. Label it ABC again. And I ask you to find angle A, angle B.
King of Lady, looking right here, this angle. For given two sides, side B, the 12 millimeters, is which side? Side C is hot use and adjacent make the three plus. Pecant would work, but cosine also uses it. Pecant works, but it's not on the calculator, so we'd have to use the cosine anyway. So, put in our value for the adjacent side is 12 millimeters. My hotness is 21. Now, both of them are millimeters, so I leave the units off. It's going to cancel out. How do we solve that? First cosine. And I can just do the 12 divided by 21 right in the calculation. For most of your calculators, it's second cosine for inverse cosine. 12 divided by 21, then close the parentheses. 55.15 meters. For B, side B, the 12 millimeters, is now which side of the triangle? Now it's the opposite. And of course, the 21 is still the hypotenuse. So the trig function that uses opposite and hypotenuse is. And let's plug in our information. Twelve over twenty-one, but it's a sign now, so it's an inverse sign that we're looking at. Punch that in, and it gives us thirty-four point eight three degrees. Right. Now at this point, we can double check these two angles better add up to ninety degrees. Right triangles, so the two non-right angles have to be complement. Now there are a lot of ways we could approach side A here. Rather than use trig functions, I would just say that A is equal to square root of 21 squared minus 12 squared. That comes from A squared plus B squared equals C squared. I just rearrange the formula. Square root 21 squared minus So if I give you something like this, where I tell you that side A, 0 0.350 inches, side B is 0.65, I ask you to find angles A and B and side.
Okay, so finding lay. Right up here. Two sides were given are A and B. A is which side? Opposite and B is arches. First is tangent. Well, in the information here, tangent of A equals 0 0.350 over 0 0.650. This is going to be an inverse tangent. Divided by the 0.65, giving us 28.30 degrees. Now, if we switch over to angle B, now side A is the Decent. Side B is the, but it's still a tangent. Now first, we're dealing with angle B. Five zero over point three five. Giving us what sixty one point seven zero degrees. Double check; those do add up to ninety degrees. <clears throat> And once again, for side C, I'll use A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Am I going to add these two when I square them or subtract them? I'm going to add them. Get rid of is 0.738. What do you think? Good stuff? Well, because I'm guessing you didn't get a lot of time to finish it up yesterday. In that packet, still just going to have you keep working on page 351 through 352. Finding the missing side of the